Hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to another video today. We're at a place that I've never been to before. We're gonna be going out on the big boat. I'm super excited about it. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Got my bro, Delton, behind the camera. We're gonna be trying to go fishing today. As you guys can tell, I got the big rig out today. Um, got a bunch of rods loaded up on the deck. I think we have 10, 11, 12, 12 rods on the boat because we're fishing a new body of water that I've never been to before. I don't really know anything about this place. We're actually gonna take a run down there and I'm gonna show you how today's laying out. So first, look at my truck. I got mud all over the place, but I guess that's what I get for having a big offset on them tires right there. But let's go ahead and walk down to this pond and, and see what we're working with. So yesterday, it actually poured. Like all last night, it was a bunch of rain. Um, that's the only worry today. Um, things gonna hold back the fish from biting. A little worried about how the fish are gonna be positioned. Looking at this place, it is extra flooded. Let me tell you, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can, you, can they see that through the camera? Look, literally look over there and that dock is underwater. You can't even walk to that. There's a walkway there that's completely underwater. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. It's super flooded. I mean, it's all the way up in the trees out here. This is a pretty big body of water, but it's also trolling motor only. Uh -oh. As you, uh -oh. what? Yeah. Alligators. 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 But yeah, as you guys can tell, it says trolling motors only, outboards to load and unload only, which is cool. As you guys know, we don't have many places to fish out here. Found this place. A lot of people told me about it. I was like, you know what? We're gonna try it out today and see if the fish are gonna bite. I heard it's really tough though. Like I heard this is like a tough place to fish. So I'm, I'm curious to see if we're gonna be able to figure them out. I got a mixture of baits tied on. So if we have to go offshore a little bit, I don't know how deep it gets out there. Um, or we're gonna have to go probably skip all the way up under a lot of these trees because of how um, flooded it is. That's one thing I'm worried about, but let's walk right here. You got a pretty big boat ramp. I'm impressed by that. Um, and it's a fairly big body of water. Look at this, dude. Somebody's gonna have to get wet. Yep. God, that is so crazy. And the wind's whipping today. One thing that I noticed, there's a bunch of trees out there too, and you can barely see the tip of them. And we're not gonna be running the big motor today, so I'm not too worried about that. But let's go ahead and get in the boat. We're gonna back her in, get her in the water. And then I'm gonna go over what rods we're gonna be using today. Kind of the game plan to figure out these fish. Cause like I said, I've never been here. Um, it's a new body of water. I feel like this is gonna be a cool video because I'm gonna take you through the process of how it would break down this lake, um, knowing that I know zero information about it. So this is gonna be good. Let's go ahead and hop in the boat, get on the water, catch a big fish. Gotta take a little schmedley break before the start. This one ain't gonna be good boys. Can't forget the old McDonald's cup. Old Delton backing us in right now. Keep her coming, Delton. Jeez, man, look how deep my car is in this. All right, well, we're all in. It is time to get to work and see what we can do out here today. Like I said, I've never been here, so I'm excited about it. It looks like a pretty big body of water. Right here, it looks a little smaller, but it goes way down that way. And there's a lot of wind and the water's moving really good. My only worry is like, like how flooded this stuff is. Um, there's a bunch of pads right here. I smell fish. I can tell you that. I freaking smell them. It's probably some carp or catfish or something. Did it scare yourself? Yeah, I'm not used to that. <laughs> yeah, you might have to take your shoes off right there. Bro, you know you know this is actually two boat ramps? It's so flooded you couldn't see it. You went right. The, oh, really? the curb was in the middle of the trailer, yeah. I didn't even know that. I didn't know it either. I mean, I saw it. Like, there's a curb. Like, this is two boat ramps, but it looks like one big one, right? It just like it's just so flooded. What's up, brother? How you doing? Good, doing good. A little wet, but doing good. Yeah, it is a little wet, a little flooded. Yeah. Um, can I get one of y'all to move this truck? Wait, just anywhere in the grass over here? Yeah. Alright, that's cool. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, man, appreciate it. Yep. You wanna get it or you want me to get it? I got it. I wish you could have said that at least 30 seconds earlier. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My bad, Delton. Well, that was the DNR, and he said we can't park there. So Delton's gonna go move her over to the grassy area. There's a bunch of pads, a bunch of pad stems right here. Spinnerbait might be some juice today. The water's pretty murky. You know, it's been it's been flooded. It's been raining. Spinnerbait might be a go today. Could probably catch some fish. We actually talked to a guy that put in before us, or he actually was taken out when we got here. And he said he didn't catch nothing. So 
that's a worry but at the same time i think we're gonna put our heads down today and and try to catch a bunch of big fish one thing to think about is these lily pads are fresh and new and when they're coming up you know it puts off a bunch of, a bunch of oxygen therefore you know the bait fish are going to be pulling up in the pads therefore the bass come and that's what they're feeding on so you know these lily pads are fairly new you got a bunch of stems and you got a bunch of full pads they're submerged under the water a good bit and you can actually toss spinner bait or swim jig swim jig almost works a lot better but you can pretty much toss either a spinner bait or a swim jig inside these pads and you can reel it pretty good as you guys can tell i mean there's a ton of pads right there i don't know if you guys can see that i'm throwing right down the middle of that try this jig I want to see how far those rocks come off. I know they're in here. Oh, that was a bite. One just hammered my blade. Hammered my blade. Oh, he hit me again, dude. Did he? Yeah, what in the world? I don't know if it's a bass. He's hitting my blade. That was weird. Unless he's on bed. He might be on bed right there, dude. He hit me twice. He hit my blade when I first cast it in there. That It could be a fish on bed. You know, they do. Oh, I thought that was a wake. About have a heart attack. What? Yeah, a bassy. You did have a wake. See, this spot looks so good staged up. You know, fish will push up in this and, and spawn. That is so good to know. I mean, it's a baby, but it's a baby, but he hit the chatterbait. I thought I saw him waking up behind me. I was like, look at a fish. I'm about to say maybe we should throw like a little Texas rig around. I just wanted to know that there's fish in the area. So I'm about to rig up. I have an idea. So I got my Super 6 box. If you guys are wondering about the Super 6, it's a monthly subscription box. And if you guys want to check it out, I'll pop my code on the screen and check it out down below. But that is enough of that. I'm going to pull out a bait that I got in here. This is actually one of my favorite boxes I've got yet. It's a Divine Swim Jig right here. And it came with some swim baits, but the regular white swim baits. Let me show you. Right here. And those are bigger ones. And what I think I'm going to do... I actually found some that I got not too long ago. I haven't got to try them yet, but it's like, it's got white with some sparkles on the bottom and it's like a chartreuse swim bait. And I think it's gonna look really good on this white and chartreuse swim jig, um, especially in this murky water, especially after it rained, you know, get that bright color in this dirty water. I think that's gonna be really good, but I'm gonna rig this up. I can reel this through the pads quite easy. You know, the spinner bait, I can do that as well, but I think the swim jig is gonna go through it a lot easier. I um, mean, this also has the screw lock, so pretty much what you do is, all right, rig my swim bait up right there. We're gonna push it through, okay? And now we're gonna weave it up onto that. And that's what I really love about these Divine Swim Jigs is that the bait, rare, like you will literally put this swim bait on and probably catch around eight to 10 fish on it. It'll save you a bunch of money just cause the bait's not like flopping off, which I really love about it. And these soft plastics are very dense. Kind of messed up a bit. We'll tear that down. Just, tiny bit there we go that is dude that looks dude, nice that don't it sick. i love that all right let's tie that bad boy on and get to work just got this swim jig tied on divine swim jig that i really love that pair up i found these when i saw these on their website i was like that would actually look really good on a white and chartreuse swim jig and sure enough it looks killer so i'm excited about this water's really murky i think it's gonna be good let's check our drag little tight let's loosen her up little tight I think I just got a knot in my line. Yeah, I do. I probably just loosened it way too much. Uh, tighter it down a little bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. All right. Well, let's get the work of the swim jig. See, the swim jig is going to come right through these pads perfectly. Look at that. I literally just threw it in the middle of a pad patch. Watch me just reel this thing in. You can tell it's not even getting hung on any of those pads. It's going right between them. And that is exactly what you want when throwing a moving bait in pads like this. I still see like a bunch of movement right there.
Ooh, eyes got, got him. Right there in the current, dude, on that swim jig, right there through the pads. Bingo. He choked that thing. Oh, dude, there's a big, all right. I just figured something out really crucial and we're about, we're about to start whacking them. We came up on it. We came up on it wrong. Right there, there's so much water pumping in. You got a bunch of current right here. And I've seen fish chasing bait all throughout here. Delton's gonna get smoked on that too. But look how he ate that divine swim jig right there. He freaking ate that thing good. I threw it right there on the edge of those pads, drug it out to where this current is flowing water in. And boom, caught my first fish today. Not a big one, but that is a keeper right there. A little, look how chunky that one is. Like a little, a little chunk. Pretty fish though. We're gonna get to work now. If you guys have made it this far in the video, first of all, thank you guys so much. Hear me out for a second because if you don't, you're going to be a little bit confused and I can already see the comments rolling in down below. Well, anyways, we had a tough day out there. It was about three hours on the water. We caught three tiny fish. It was just rough. I talked to some supporters of the channel right when we pulled out of the water and they said the water is usually never like that and it flooded the night before and it was just, it was brutal. It was a tough day out there. We didn't stay out long, but we didn't really think it was worth it to go catch a bunch of, you know, 12 inches. So I actually stumbled upon some footage of round 15 months ago so a little over a year it included me Alan Bob and Lojo we were out on Douglas Lake and we caught a bunch of big fish the lake was drained you know the big ones were chomping it was a tough day out there but we ended up catching some really big fish I'm gonna add that footage to this I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video if you guys haven't already please hit that like button if you guys are new to the channel hit the subscribe button but let's go ahead and hop into that footage Heck, I want you to catch one. <laughs> I know yeah I need to... oh big that was good that big was good. big oh. big 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 Big, 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 dude. Come on, be big. Please get that net. Be big. Be big. Oh, guys, it's all right, all right, dude. I mean, this might be my PB. Oh my god, bro! Like, big, I, I'm talking big, dude. Like, oh my god. please. Keep him down, line. man. Keep him down. Come on, man. Keep him down. How much don't throw him in the net? All right. You got a giant, Alan. Alan, one, bro. Man. Hey, get the. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's a good fish, dude. Hey, that's a good hey. fish. Oh my god. Oh, oh. There he is. Yeah. Net. Big. Big. Start my jerk bait too. Yeah. You don't really have any wind, but I don't know how these fish. I gotta look at the graph. See how these fish are staging up, man. See if they in that ten foot, ten foot range. Well, guys, we just stopped at our first little spot. Really not far. I mean, we just right by the ramp. I, I was gonna go back in this little creek, and I saw this little main lake bluff wall right here. Ton of rock um right here good little point and it's a little divot right here so it's a small it's not like a, i wouldn't call it a pocket um i guess we can call it like a small pocket off the main lake there's a good chance a big one is sitting off that point so ready to smunch a jerk bait it just makes too much sense i'm gonna give this try i gotta see how these fish are staging up on the graph we both started off with jerk baits that's kind of what was working the other day for us but uh then again conditions are totally flopped Straight bluebird skies, zero wind. We got a little wind, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like these fish are on the bottom today. I can already tell you that. Look at that. Little baby ball of bait. Got about three fish on the bottom. Oh, dude. Oh, we got two at the top right there by the trolling motor. Long skip with a 7.6 rod. Woo! You see that? Yeah, I heard that? That was the only little slot too, in the back of it. Let's lift up, eight pounder. Oh, baby. Well, boys, we got a sunken houseboat right here. Not sunken, but half the boat's in the water. And I saw this <laughs> before we were driving to our next spot. And I was like, man, we have to cast at this because if we catch fit, fish on this, this would just be sweet for the vid. 
I think I'm gonna skip in the living room of the houseboat, wiggle it by the fridge over there and be like, you know what, this jig looks better than any other food you got. Skip it right up in the houseboat. Just like that. <laughs> no, you're so stupid. I don't know, y'all saw this, I was like, <laughs> not that I even think there's a fish on it, just maybe it'd be cool for the vid, man. Let's go. We're gonna go back in one of these creeks. We'll hit this thing later. I just have a feeling they're up shallow. They're on these secondaries, at least go more into the pockets. There he is, yeah. net, big, 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 big. I mean, big. Oh, oh, he's right here. Oh, I got him in the top of the head. That's why he yes. felt big. That's why I leaned into him, bro, and I was like, big, <laughs> big. Well, we got the monkey off her back now. Baby, I hooked him in the top of the head. I thought he was huge. I was just pulling him. I felt his head. I was like, oof. Heck, that is the monkey off her back. Now it's time to catch him. Came back here in this shallow pocket. It's got some deep water by it, and chucking a trap, I was yo-yoing it, and I snagged him in the top of the head. I don't know if he swatted at it. I'm sure he did. He's a little fat guy. I thought he was so big, bro. You know when you like hook one like weird and yeah. he just has weight on him? But like the way I hooked him where he could still shake his head. Yeah. So like I was kind of toting him through the water but he's still shaking his head. I thought I had like probably like a five or six pounder. I was like, oh man, that's a big one. Get the net. Got him. Big. This is actually a big one. Oh yeah, he's big. Oh yeah, he's big. Dude, that's like a four pounder, four and a half pounder. All right, boys. That's what we came here for today. You know, I hooked that second one. I think we're figuring something out now on this trap. Had that first one a second ago, what, like, what, five minutes ago, Alan? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, on the trap, that's on the trap, man. That's that's what we come here for. Look at this tummy on the man. That was a big one right there, boys. What a beautiful fish. Solid, like, four-pounder. My oh, man, we're going to keep on continuing doing this. I think we're figuring something out now, so. Oh, it should be good. Let's go out and bob it. Let's go. Yeah. Making sense now. You can tell they're eating finicky. You know, you barely had it. When he came up, I barely saw he had it. I was like, please do not spit it. Should be one sitting there. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that was crazy, man. <laughs> that scared me. Just going sideways. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, what the heck is going on with that? I got him. Hold. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I didn't even look, dude. I, I just like was looking over here. Oh, what the f*** is going on here? Did you actually have one? No. <laughs> dude, we are looking like freaking idiots right now. <laughs> YouTube, you better hit that like button for this stick pounder I just whacked. I had my eyes over here, I was like looking, and I was like just ripping it, and I was like, oh God, I didn't even look. I don't know. Little halftime break, guys. We're about to go pick up Lojo right now. It's been tough, we caught two. One of them being a really quality fish, but nothing's kind of falling together to really make sense. Um, the water is a lot warmer back in these little creeks and little pockets. Kind of looking for those lay downs that are in the water. 
on those little transition banks from rock to clay in the sand on those little transitions that are coming back here in these little pockets and some of these little feeder creeks and we haven't had any more bites you know we had those two in that one and i was talking to him that that was more towards the late main lake we're way back in a creek right now and that one specific little pocket was towards the mouth of you know the main lake and i'm thinking that's what made the big difference because it wasn't just like we caught one fish in there there's there's two in there and i know there's a lot more um so that's kind of what we're going to go look for now we're just experimenting back here really trying to kill time before lojo gets out here because i have somewhere i really want to go to i kind of want to make a long run because sometimes on days like today a certain part of the lake will fish a lot better than another so maybe it's just this part i talked to another guy that fished yesterday and he said everything's just random just kind of like what happened to us and he said all the fish he's catching are like one pounders well i mean that's that's pretty quality when we caught i know there's more in here and all the people we see out here aren't catching anything it's just a, it's a tough day man it's the worst conditions after a cold front bluebird skies zero to no wind and it's just you know it's, it's tough damn one just came up to the trolling bar hey let me look yeah you're here you got him oh is he big oh. hey don't run oh. don't hop him oh my god dude you got a giant alan Alan, one, bro, man. hey, get the. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's a good fish, dude. Hey, that's a good hey. fish. Oh my god. Oh, 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 bro, oh, yes. Come on, let's yes, go. Dude. Bro, that's a solid five pounder. Yes, Caught him in that net, dude. Oh my god. Yes. Backflip out of there. Oh my. Oh, dude, that's bigger than that, man. No, that's a fat fish. That's a six pounder. That's oh. that's pushing. That's pushing up there. That's a six pounder. Heck, Heck yeah. yeah. Holy cow, Alan just caught a toad, bro. A solid six. Lojo. Coming off the bench, just scoring points, baby. <laughs> Look at the gut on that sucker, man. Dude, that's a big fish, man. That when, needs to go in the Oh, whale. God. Oh that's a toad, oh. man. That needs to go in the Show whale. Lojo that whale. thing. Fatty, man. Good oh, job, bro. I'm proud of you. Alan's been having the monkey on his back this whole trip Dude. and then catches a freaking donk. We needed that so bad. <laughs> we needed it so bad. We needed that so bad. We were just talking about how terrible it's been. So what was it on, Alan? The trap. Uh, oh yeah, one knocker. The red, man. Bro, that's that's, that's what the other two red. the same fish came on today. Off this tree or just like along the bank? On the there. bank, bro. Yeah. He was right there. He hammered it. I just felt that weight and then Bro, that is move. good job, man. I'm That's proud. Nice. Thank you. Gosh, thank you for showing him his belly one more time. <laughs> Heck yeah, bro. We got two toads. All right, Lojo, it's your turn now, man. I know, man. I'm, I'm like pumped up now, man. I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. It was crazy how a fish can just make your day just turn around and just go. Uh, awesome, man. You can cast over me. There he is. Yeah? Got him? Yeah. Big dude, big. I don't think I got him. Yeah, I got something, dude. Oh, what you is got, You got him foul hook. Is that why? Yeah, I'm... look at him. Yeah. <laughs> Fouled him. That's happened twice today, boys. <laughs> There's like swiping at it. That's crazy. I mean, it's. We need to get the red trap on, kids. That's obvious. And I have a red trap. Little fatties, man, but. I don't know. The two small ones we caught today, the big ones ate it, but the small ones just swatting at it. Yep, look at him. Right away, he's tying it on. Yep. I'm you, that's what's happening, but small guy on the trap. It's happening now. They're at least surviving. I don't know if he just swatted at it. I don't really know, but red trap again. All right, Lojo, it's your turn. easy over here. What the? I don't know if they're swatting at it. None of them have ate it good today. What the? What? 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 <laughs> get bump, bump? Dude, it bumped me so hard, I hit my GoPro my rod it's like they're not eating it heck i want you to catch one <laughs> i know yeah i need to... oh big that was good big was good. big 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 dude please get that net he is big please get that net Big. Oh, guys it's all right, all right, dude. I mean, this might be my pb, oh my God, bro. Like, I, I'm talking big, dude. Like, oh my God. please. Keep him down, line. man. Keep him down. Come on, man. Keep him down. How much don't throw him in the net, all right? Just be sure, be oh careful. Oh, oh, it's a carp. No. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? 
<laughs> bro, I swore I had the biggest fish of my life. Did you I, see the, the drag? Oh that my god. With you would freaking foul hook the car. Oh my god. Dude, when oh, I went like this, anymore. I felt his tail go like this, but I thought it was a bass's head. And I'm like, big dude. dude oh I'm like, this is a monster. God. 25 pound, 30 pound car. That's a big car, man. Big car. Will you pop it like the same way you had? Yeah, before? dude. I just like felt him. It felt like he hit it, man. I just went to the side and I felt his tail go. Well, I thought it was his head, but I thought. Yeah, I, I saw you turn and your like, arms shaking. I was like, oh. My <laughs> dude, God. I, I was like, that, this that is. Looks crazy yeah dude that scared me and man that really scared me it was ripping drag of course it was foul hook so it was pulling even harder bro it scared me man i, I didn't know it to my forearm's on fire right now i, I should have known better that that wasn't a bass dude because if it was he was yeah. 10 plus i mean no doubt well boys i just pulled off in this little cut i'm letting them just right there trying to catch a big one i uh man it's been so slow i don't get it and then when you run into a fish he's big so it's just nothing makes sense really i know they're back in these cuts just really finicky and we're fishing really fast you know covering the water water that's really what we're trying to do because i mean we don't have too much time so we're just beating around doing that whole deal um trap still went in the whole man the whole deal we got four fish on it and then a uh, big goldfish <laughs> a big big carp but leo joe is hoping he's about to catch a big one that's what I'm hoping. He is just getting screwed left and right. We're all getting screwed left and right, but I'm about to pick up my rod and finish off strong right here back in this cut. Dude, I cannot cast right now. I can't see. That tree in the back, dude. I got him. I don't know what I got. Yeah, I do got a fish. I do got a fish, man. Look at that little guy. Stroking it. Yeah, it was the best one ate it all day and he <laughs> Yeah, he actually thumped it. <sighs> Low joke. <laughs> all right, you're gonna catch one back there. Fish number five. Well we have a lemon today. I bet I think he squeaks. He squeaks. Yeah. 